क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो लुक एट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू अगेन वी नो दैट दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन सो फट फर्स्ट पार्ट टेन मार्क्स आर लोकेटेड सेकेंड पार्ट नाइन मार्क्स थर्ड पार्ट सिक्स मार्क्स so weightage a should be given more weightage b should be uh, then c should be less weightage a part uh, carry 40% of the total mark allocations so what is the action verb you uh, see here First part action verb use is analyze. Second one identity. Third one explain. Completely three different action verb by use here. So what is analyze? So analyze. So analyze mean uh, examine in detail in order to determine the solution or outcome. so that is analyze examine in details in order to determine the solution outcome should not be a summary discussion it should be a detailed discussions what is the objective of your detailed discussion is to come up with the solutions so that obvious no should not be a summary discussion because 10 mark ka allocated on this no they are po it should be a detailed discussions as word suggested right so ultimately you have to come up with the solutions what is the solution here you have to uh, right what is the solution here so analyze the industry competitiveness of the personal care industry with special reference to hair oil products so solution or conclusion is you have to tell what is what type of competition available in this industry that should be your conclusions using photos five forces model using photos five forces model and forecast the probability of the new hair oil business of noella sri lanka so you have to use this uh, five forces model uh, when you are analyzing the competitiveness of the industry so five forces model is help you to determine the industry attractiveness and the probability of your industry no so 10 mark this is the first time actually in the new syllabus this five forces model was tested right so he has given 10 marks for this right so if we recapture the theory relevant to five forces model right so what are the theory part relevant to this so normally we use five forces to determine the industry attractiveness by using five forces model we can determine the industry attractiveness right whether it is a attractive industry or not can be concluded by using the five forces model attractive industry mean there is a high potential for earning profit less attractive mean you have less potential for more profit so this was a model introduced by the michael forter according to forter there are five forces that determine the industry attractiveness what are those five forces one is rivalry among existing players rivalry 
among existing players, among existing players that is one. Then another one is uh, threat of new entrants. Threat of new entrants. Third one is threat of subsidies. Threat of subsidies. Set of subdues. Then the fourth one is bargaining power of customers. Bargaining power of customers. Power of customers. Then the fifth one is bargaining power of suppliers. of suppliers. These five forces combinedly determine the industry attractiveness. So, we have to look at about the combined effect of them, not separate effect. Now, if I get a scenario to explain this one, uh, we will take uh, low scenario. See, each one is low. What do you think about the industry attractiveness? Is industry attractive or not? For example, rivalry among the existing players is very low. What do you think? Is that a favorable scenario? Think from existing player point of view. Is that a uh, favorable scenario for you? Right? Yes. Low competition is helpful for you to dominate. Threat of new entrance is low. For example, less barriers, sorry, may high barriers. If there are high barriers, so then uh, newcomers cannot enter into this industry. So, that will give more uh, opportunity for you to earn profit. Threat of subdues is low. The, for example, there are no uh, formidable uh, substitutes against us. It is a favorable scenario. Customers are not in a position to bargain with us. Again favorable scenario for us. Suppliers are not in a position to bargain with us. For example, we have 1000 of suppliers. We purchase only a small percentage from each one. Right. So, therefore, uh, so they are not in a strong position to bargain with us. Right. If we look at the opposite of this one, so, that is a unattractive scenario, that means high scenario is an unattractive scenario for, right, right, that is the theory part. So, we will uh, go through the facts given and we will try to understand this uh, industry they are in and then try to apply this. Right. Sri Lanka's fast moving consumer good FNCG market has witnessed tremendous growth and is expected to reach 65.62 billion by 2023. So, we have more opportunity now. Noella Sri Lanka is the largest player in the FNCG segment in Sri Lanka. So, they are the largest player that means the dominant player. And for nearly 5 decades, Noella Sri Lanka has been a household name. So, we are established brand in the country. Its parent company is Noella Global, which is in the United States. So, this is a multinational company. They are parent uh, operate in USA. The product portfolio of Noella Sri Lanka comprise soap and detergent personal care, food, beverage, chemicals and agricultural inputs. 
The company has rolled out 45 brands across 20 diverse product categories. So, they have 45 brands no? uh, which come under 20 product categories and 2 out of 3 Sri Lankan use Noila products. Then you can get an idea uh, like Unilever products. No? Noila Sri Lanka is headed by a country manager and he is responsible for building unique local competences. The company is now planning to grow its personal care category. By extending its premium brand now through the launching of now, uh, now Trinkia Hair Oil in Sri Lanka in November 2022. So, they are going to introduce a new product to the markets. Uh, this is a hair oil, no? With the price of LKR 625 for a 90 milliliter bottle. The company is planning to get into the hair oil market, which is a LKR 20 million market. So, this market size is 20 million market with a lot of potential to grow in the future. Its major competitors are naturally are this industries and some Indian brands, Navarat Namla, which all have hair oil products. However, their prices are one peep the price of no tincture hair oil. Ah, so, they are going with uh, high quality products. No? They are going to identify a particular segment and they are trying to serve India. Many industry experts have argued negatively on the sales that could be earned from no tincture hair oil, which is higher price. So, many industry experts uh, argue that uh, so this may not work because of the high price. Thus, its expected return remain doubtful. Uh, the now brand was first launched in the United States in 2008. Subsequently, now became one of the leading global brand of Noelna with product including soap, deter, uh, detergents, uh, lotions, body watches and face creams. Now, is sold in 80 countries worldwide. Once it was globally positioned as a premium category brand, now was introduced to Sri Lanka in 2018. The hair oil market is segmented into coconut based oil, light hair oil, heavy amla hair oil, cooling oils, and various small variants. The coconut based oil lead the hair oil market in Sri Lanka. Therefore, whether customers would accept a new different type of product is a concern for Noela Sri Lanka. So, coconut based oil lead the hair oil market in Sri Lanka. Therefore, whether customer would accept a new different type of product is a concern for Noela Sri Lanka. In its operation, Noela Sri Lanka has a well structured manufacturing plant producing most of its product. Roughly 200 retail outlet of customers are serviced by its sales force. A good market now they have. This has pushed Noela Sri Lanka to plan for its expansion into modern trade channel. The company has formulated joint marketing plan with some of its established customers such as Kagi, Skis, Laf and South Asa. With a history of successful product launch, Noel Sri Lanka has taken a bold step to launch the high price no tincture hair oil in a market traditionally ruled by mass market offers. Industry experts are doubtful about the chances of its success. So, because of this high price, no, some of people uh, have doubts whether this will be a successful one or not. All right. So, if you try to apply the facts given uh, with the theory part, rival among existing players in this scenario it is high, no. But uh, if you look at about Noella, what they are trying to do, they are not going to right deal in the mass market, no. They are going to select small portion of the total market, no. Niche market. They are going to uh, identify a niche market and they are going to serve within that particular niche. Therefore, I do not think this uh, the first point is applicable as it is for them, right. It is not a high competition market for them. I think it will be a low competitive market for them. It is a small segment. 
then uh, threat of new entrants. So, possibly it may be low for uh, this segment. Subdues may be there are different subdues, they have mentioned different different names, no? there are different types of uh, oils, but uh, still they can compete because I think this because of this high quality nature. Right, then uh, bargaining power of the customers uh, will be high actually, because customers have so many options, no? should be high. Then uh, bargaining power of suppliers uh, will also be uh, low I think, because uh, there may be thousand of suppliers, they provide the required material for them they may not be in a place uh, uh, to dominate in the market. So, therefore, uh, so what I uh, conclude is actually this is attractive market for them and they can have uh, opportunity to earn more profits. So, we will see whether examiner answer is uh, match with uh, our analysis. So, same way actually the threat uh, this uh, yeah, in fact the different uh, poses, theory pass, then the applications. So, threat of new interest it depend on the barriers now, if the barriers are low, then more opportunity for newcomers to enter now and less opportunity for earning profit. So, in this market, uh, what has happened is uh, the major payers are dominating the market with existing brands, right. So, normally, so since Noella is a well established brand in the industry, they can complete, right. The bargaining power of suppliers, so normally uh, these products are manufactured from widely available ingredients, no. Therefore, uh, such uh, suppliers are not in a position to bargain with us. We purchase uh, ingredients from many suppliers. Bargaining of customers. So, customers uh, bargaining power is high under normal circumstances, no. But uh, if you go with this uh, specified product, if uh, customers cannot find similar one in the market, then they uh, their bargaining power may be reduced. Substitutes. So, there are some substitutes available, but uh, since we are going to offer a high end products, uh, the threat of substitute is reduced. Industry competitions. Uh, so, there is a high competitions, but uh, we are going to uh, select a particular segment and we are going to operate there now. So, within that particular segment, I think, uh, so there will be a less competitions. So, so what the conclusions uh, examiner has made, looking at photos, five horses analysis of the said industry, Noella can introduce this product with proper strategies. Yes, that is the conclusion. We came to conclusion that industry is attractive. That is the conclusion we made, right? Right. Then the part B. <coughs> Identify a suitable organized structure for Noella Sri Lanka, state the advantage of selected structure and comment on whether you need a structural change, whether on whether you need a structural change when introducing products like no tincture hair oil. 9 marks. Identify a suitable organization structure for Noella Sri Lanka. How many uh, requirement here actually? So, that is why I ask you to read at least 3 times now. First requirement is you have to name what is the most happy structure for this Noella Sri Lanka. Then after you have named that one, you have to tell what are the advantage of such structure. Third one, comment on whether you need a structural change when introducing product like no tincture hair oil. So, do you want to make some changes to the existing structure? That is the third requirement. So, examiner may allocate 9 marks, may probably 3 marks for each one, right. 
So, three requirement within the part P. What is the suitable structure for this one? First of all, we look at the action verb. What is the action verb given here is identity. What is identity? Identify, no? Yes, identify. Recognize, establish, or select after considerations. So, recognize, establish, or select after considerations. So, make a selection here now. What is the selection we have? We have to make a selection of the suitable organized structure for these organizations. Right? So, you cannot just say this is good for this. You have to give the reasons and remember that point. Right? So, if you go to this organizational structures. What are the organized structures we have discussed? So, these are the structures we have discussed. No? One is functional structure, and this is more appropriate for single entity. No? I do not think it is match for this one. Ah, this may be ideal, no? This multi-divisional holding company structure for this one. What do you think? Ah, this is betterly applicable for holding company, right? So here we don't have holding company in Sri Lanka. It's one company within one company. Uh, our products are organized. Matrix may be suited more for project-based organizations. Transactional structure is there. Then, uh, what about this uh, geographical way structures? Ah, yes, uh, here we are not discussing one point you can think about this uh, may be uh, about geographical departmentalizations. Uh, from this uh, given structures, give on the learn structures, uh, this transactional structure may be ideal for these organizations. So, what is the reason for this? So, first of all, we will see what is this transnational structure. Now, look at this word transnational structure, transnational, national mean, uh, so you adapt to the culture, national. For example, you are a multinational company, you adapt to Sri Lankan culture, then you may have more uh, uh, suitable culture. Uh, in Sri Lankan market, transnational structure, right. So, if you look at the definitions, it say transnational structure attempt to recognize global scope and scale with local responsiveness. Global scope recognize global scope and scale with local responsiveness. That means, you adapt to the local requirement. Right? So, uh, Johnson and others actually, uh, he talk about this one. So, in this type of structure, 
we are able to face the challenges of globalization easily. Now, if you look at about these transitional structures, there are three main elements. National unit are independent operating entities. In this organization, we are given more freedom to operate. So, each national unit is having their own research and development capabilities. The shared capabilities allow national unit to achieve global or at least regional economic of scales. Then the global corporate parent adds value by establishing the basic role of each national unit. And then supporting the system relationship and culture that enables them to work together as an effective network. Right. Now, what are the evidences for us to make a comment that uh, oh, identify transnational structure is the ideal structure for them? So, they are operating for five decades in Sri Lanka. So, almost uh, uh, like a national company, you know. Now, if you look at about the, this prospera, this look at the last sentence, what is stated there. Noella Sri Lanka is headed by a country manager and he is responsible for building, responsible for building unique local competences. So, you have to develop your own capability match to Sri Lankan culture. So, that point uh, sentence is very important one, right. So, those are the key point here. So, we will see what the examiner say. Looking at the Johnson model and scenario given the most suitable structure is transnational structure. Then he giving the reason for that. You just recognize what is best for then you uh, give the reason on that. Since Noella is a global recognize. Since Noella is a global recognize and globally performing company. So, globally performing company, it can use the transnational structure to face the challenges that arise from different markets. It also has FMG product that do not need separate business unit. Suppose they can appoint managers, country managers, functional managers, and managers at the corporate parent. Then advantage also given. The answer structure attempt to combine the best features of contrasting approach create companies of global relevance, responsiveness to local condition, innovation and learning on an organization wide scale. The national unit are independent operating entities and provide capabilities such as R and D which are utilized by the rest of the organization. Shares capabilities allow national unit to achieve global or at least regional economic of scales. The global corporate parent add value by establishing a basic role of each national unit and then providing support to the system, relationship and culture that enable them to work together as an effective network. So, what are the comment? So, that is the third requirement. Comment on whether you need a structural engine. I do not think we need because uh, uh, we are going to add another uh, product to the existing product portfolio you know, and at the same time uh, which is a more related product not a completely different one. There is no change required. What is the comment? Although new product is introduced still up come under the FMG category, yes, where its operation can be handled using the existing operation. Therefore, structural change is not necessary, that is not required. So, see the way examiner has uh, structured his answer is uh, addressing three requirements separately. Now, that is why you want to identify the three requirements separately. 
if you have not done that, so what can happen? Uh, so, you will lose marks. Right. Then we can move to the part C of the questions. Part C explain the critical areas to be look at in the short term in strategic controlling based on the balance scorecard to successfully introduce no tincha hair oil. How many marks given here? Only six marks, no? What is the action verb use here? Explain is the action verb use here. So, you have to come up with a detailed answer, no? That mean explain mean uh, yes, you have to come up with a detailed answer here. Yes, make a clear description in detail. Right, make a clear description in detail revealing relevant facts. Right. Now, here you have to read questions few time. So, this seem to be a little bit confusing, no? That is why it is not straightforward, it is not straightforward. Uh, by reading few time, the question you have to understand real requirement. So, explain the critical areas to be looked at in the short term in strategic controlling based on the balance scorecard. Critical area to be looked at in short run for a controlling purpose. So, what is the tool uh, examiner asks you to use that is uh, balance scorecard model. What is balance scorecard? If you remember the theory discussions on this, traditionally we have used financial indicators to measure the performance of the organizations. If those financial indicators provide a positive result, then we came to a conclusions that organization has performed really well. But Kaplan and Norton say no, that is not the right approach. He say it is a very short uh, right slighted approach. He came up with a more broad approach by introducing balance scorecard. Right, by introducing balance scorecard, uh, in the balance scorecard, he identified four areas organization want to focus. So, he did not ignore the financial perspective, he identified the financial perspective also, in addition to financial perspective, he identify customer, customer perspective, internal business or in other words operational, internal business perspective, then other one is learning and innovation perspective. learning and innovation perspective. Right. So, 
So, financially you can look at about some of the basic uh, indicators like gross profit, net profit, ROCE, right. Custom perspective you can uh, identify some of the indicators like sales income, number of customers, number of customer complaint. Internal business perspective for example, efficiency and productivity, then waste, number of defects, items, learning and innovation perspective, number of new products introduced. Number of process improvement made, then training cost, R and D cost, training days for employee. If all four perspectives are well achieved, then we come to conclusion that the owner has performed well according to balance card. For example, if you look at the customer aspect, you will say customer right uh, has made more sales. So, we have made more sales. As a result, sales has income has been increased. There are new customers, less number of customer complaint that means customers are happy with us. There is a high customer satisfaction in that scenario, right. So, like that, so we can look at this. Now, here the what is the questions requirement here is uh, what are the critical area we can look at in the balance scorecard regarding this new hair oil. So, if you look at the customer aspect, we can check. Uh, so, how many customers? purchase our products, number of units sold. Then uh, whatever the sales income uh, we can generate from them. Internal business aspects, uh, what about the efficiency and productivity of uh, manufacturing, what about the number of defects units for example. Learning and innovation aspect we can check uh, how many uh, improvement we have done for this new product with this new product. Actually new product itself is an example on this one, innovations. Then uh, uh, the training given for employees, for employees, then profit aspect we can look at under the financial perspectives. So, those can be used in this scenario, right. So, we will uh, look at about the examiner's answer also, what the examiner tell on this. financial perspective. So, yes, he say that uh, some target can be set for financial performance, uh, sales growth, uh, return on assets in gross profit, net profit, then custom aspects. He say that there should be a target on custom satisfactions, custom retention and new custom acquisitions. Then he explained that point. So, he say that as uh, Noella is one of the main brand in uh, FMG category in Sri Lanka. So, they can use their brand image to introduce this one to market, uh, then trust can be increased. So, one of the concern here is the price, high price. So, then marketing communication should be done properly on this new one. Customer feedback, such and kind of observation, target customer reaction need to be considered. 
operation aspects. So, there should be a target for improvement in business operations such as create efficiency in certain key aspect of operations. Then uh, proper control of operation is important. You should take action to reduce the cost. Then you can work with uh, some of the leading retailers to reach this uh, product to final consumers. Innovation and learning aspects, so you have to improve the skills and knowledge of the workforce. So, introducing new product is always new learning for the employees. No? So, they can uh, uh, make more money allocation for research and development activities. Right. So, it is a detailed answer actually. So, we will see what the examiner tell on this also. Question two party, what about pipe process, what the examiner say? Most candidates were unable to analyze the competence of the personal care industry, most candidate. Some of the view that due to regular requirement and the high level of investment required for the personal care industry, the threat of new interest will be low. However, there was no evidence available in the given scenario to arrive at such a conclusion. The available evidence suggests that the strength of the now brand will probably hamper the threat of new entrants. Some just mentioned that information not available to conclude the extent of impulse by the supply, which was not true. Some concluded without gathering sufficient evidence from the scenario that the bargain of customers was high, whereas tapping the high end market with the premium price was not comment on. Some just listed out process by process without an acceptable explanation, just theory only, no applications. And there was no comment on profitable extent of the strength of the brand, etc. Not addressed well majority. Part B that organized structure one, what the examiner say? This part uh, was not attended by a fair number of candidates. So, people who have attempted say this is a multi division organized structure holding structure is better without any justifications. Some of the view that structural changes are required due to intention of the company to operate overseas. Only a few correctly state that existing structures advocates in the proposed product is under the FMCG category. Through no, uh, this is related with the existing product portfolio. You know. There is no requirement to induce a new uh, structure for this. See what do you say? So, we have just completed our discussion on this. No? see what examiner say. Although most candidates say the name of the purpose of the BAC model, some of them were unable to provide target for each aspect when it came to explain the critical areas. Inappropriate in educate target was provided by some such as quality or quantity of productions as target for operational perspectives and education qualification provision of training extra as target for the learning and innovation perspectives. Why targets are set and how they are achieved are not explained by some candidate in the context of no income hair oil. Most candidates who pr provide target for each prospect did not explain critical areas with regard to the successful induction of NTHO. Some just state point like customer base, high price, well as current brand name, well bit of substitutes as critical area without basing them on the BESC. So, see this application is not sufficient no in most instances. So, at this level application is the key actually, not a theory. So, you have to write more questions and answers and then you have to improve yourself, right. So, with that uh, we can complete the question number 2.